Hello pianist, you just heard an excerpt from Chopin's Prelude in B minor, opus 28, number 6, which is an intermediate level piece from the Romantic time period. It's an orchestral sounding piece as that left hand arpeggiates through B minor triads, G major triads, C major triads. Sounds like a cello, perhaps. We know that Chopin loved the opera. We know that operas are also accompanied by an orchestral ensemble. Imagine that this is an interlude bef between arias and the cello is singing there. So it's great for hand independence. The right hand is playing chords, left hand's arpeggiating. So if you want to play a piece like this one day, you have to practice your arpeggios. Arpeggios are quintessential building blocks within all romantic music, classical, baroque, pop pieces. If you want to improvise on chord charts, you have to know how to play arpeggios. So stay tuned as I teach you through seven keys today in the minor mode with correct arpeggio fingering. I'll talk through the critical technique. Arpeggios are a little harder than scales. So you have to be very careful on the wrist alignment that you're not staying extended out into unnatural hand positions. I'll show you how to play it lightly, that letting go technique so you can play these with ease and beauty. Let's get started in the key of A minor. So A minor, let's review our relative major. If you go up three half steps, is the key signature of C major. You don't have to worry about which form of minor because we only play root third and fifth for arpeggio. So that it would be do, me, and so, or one, flat three, and the five. This fingering is just like C major. If you remember C major, I used one, two, three. All of the keys today will use this exact fingering of one, two, three. I would first block this through in a reduced manner, A, C, E together. Pick up your hand and move it. A, C, E, A, C, E. Just like the scale, the turnaround finger is the five. Three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one. Then when you go to arpeggiate it, let's talk about the technique. I'm gonna move it up a little bit to the side of my body. Keep your thumb nice and tall. You don't wanna stay extended out into a hand position too long. So I don't wanna play like that. I want my wrist to follow behind those notes. The thumb tucks under if you play very slowly. So that wrist should stay aligned between, behind all of my fingers. Three goes over. If that's kind of confusing to keep track of your fingering, you can do some simplified reduction practice. Two and three together. Two and three, let your body shift in the direction that you're moving. Then when you go faster, the letting go technique is possible. You won't have time to shift that thumb under, it just doesn't feel the best in really high speeds. So you can let go and just move to the right. Five, three, two, one to the left. We start a little bit lower so you can see that. One, two, three, let go, let go. Five, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one. So even watch that back. Notice how he's keeping in a natural hand position as much as possible and just shifting to the right, to the left, rather than moving that under or an extreme over type of motion. Let's go to the left hand fingering on the key of, let's move it to D minor. This is just like C fingering. It'll be five, four, two, one. I'm gonna play it extended out just to start so you can see that hand position. Some reduction practice, I'm gonna start it low here on D2, four, two, one, block it together, four, two, one, four, two, one, back down in the same manner, four, two, one, five. You could also simplify it and just go four, two, one, blocked. All right, let's get to that good technique in the left hand. Try to keep that natural hand position, that wrist aligned behind my fingers, five, four, to let that hand follow up. Four, two, one. Move to the right with your body. Let that hand feel as comfortable as possible. If you have to play very slow, like this B minor uh, prelude by Chopin, you have to be completely legato with the fingers, but you have time to do so. If you need to play faster, letting go technique also applies to your left hand. Five, four, two, one. Avoid that four over, I'm just gonna move to the right. Four, two, one, four, two, one, two, four, let go. We avoid those thumb unders and those fours over. So we let go between those hand position shifts that will feel the best. You won't get tired or fatigued if you're playing your arpeggios. All right, pianist, you can transpose that exact same fingering like C major, the right hand is one, two, three, left hand at five, four, two, to seven total keys. The keys of A minor, I already showed you D minor. Same fingering applies to the key of E minor and even B minor, C minor, G minor, and F minor. You can take some time blocking those through like I showed you. But I like to show you some hands together strategies before we finish up. Let's go back to our easy key of A minor, just like C major. 
you can use some reduction practice. I would put those twos and threes and four twos locked together. So you'll feel that those twos are parallel between the hands, but the fours and threes are opposite. Thumbs are together, four, two, thumbs are together, four, two, five, one. Thumbs together. Something neat happens when you play these hands together. The letting go is covered up by the other hand. It's like staggered breathing if you were in an ensemble. Watch this, the right hand lifts, then the left hand lifts. Left lifts, so it's the right hand that lifts first, ascending, descending, the left hand lifts, then the right. And here's how I have my students practice it. You cue the hand that's lifting. So you would go right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. And they can be legato together to the end of that. All right, pianists, so hopefully those arpeggios actually feel a little bit easier after we talk them through. We talk through seven different keys that use that exact same fingering as C. They're great to reinforce your relative major and minor keys. Remember, if you're in the key of A minor, go up three half steps, get that relative major to C, and that will reinforce what notes am I supposed to play. Right hand is one, two, three, left hand's five, four, two, just like C major. You can review those major scales and arpeggios on another video where it uses that same C fingering. Some technique reminders, keep your thumb tall. Let go between those hand position shifts. Let your wrists follow behind so you're not staying extended out. We wanna play with natural hand positions as well. Be patient with this progress. Use good technique. Go slowly at first. If you feel fatigued, you should stop and try it out another day. Soon you'll be playing Chopin's Prelude in B minor.